Check this out. My dad just found it slithering in the grass. And I came outside. And here he is. This is a, a little baby rat snake. This is like a newborn. It's tiny. Look at this little tiny rat snake. I'm gonna let him go over here at the barn under these logs. It'll be a really good spot. There's rats and mice and everything over here. And he'll grow up and we may see him again. Check him out. Awesome. I wonder if Stimpy likes them. Nope. <laughs> Stimpy. Oh, well, he's feisty. He's just trying to bite me. But earlier when I picked him up, his tail, he started rattling his tail like a rattlesnake to make him look like a rattlesnake. It's pretty cool how they do that. A lot of snakes do that. They rattle their tail. Their tail. He may do it in just a second again. Yeah, but this is just a normal little baby rat snake. He's super cool. So I'm just going to let him go in these logs, and he'll have a nice spot. I have no idea how this little guy did it, but he made me bleed somehow. <laughs> he just bit me once in the finger and just started bleeding. What? I've been bit by snakes a lot bigger than him and it didn't bleed, so that's crazy. Yeah, this is the lizard zone, so this is where he needs to live. This would be a perfect spot. Yeah, I put him up higher. Like right here? Well, somewhere, in, right there is where we we'll watch him. Right here? More like, yeah, just anywhere. There you go. He's going in this crack right here. He's gone. He went in that hole. That's awesome. <laughs> it's the next day. If you're wondering what that noise was in the last clip, I hit my head on the roof of the chicken coop. <laughs> but the tin that's up there by the coop has been checked and there's no snakes under it. But now we're down by the creek and we're going to check the tin that's down here. We haven't had anything under these two pieces. Nothing. Still nothing under these. Nothing. We've only had one Eastern King under this. And I realize the way this is sitting this makes it where it lifts off the ground a little bit. That's just the way it is. So actually, I realize I'm just going to turn it around backwards because snakes like to feel more secluded and safe under tin or pieces of plastic or plywood like this. So I'll turn it over like that and maybe we'll, it'll give us a better chance because I haven't seen anything under that in a while. The Eastern King that we saw under it was from a while back. We're in the same creek that we see all those soft shells in, except we're in a different part of it. And we're going to check it out, see if we can see anything, because we've never been to this part of the creek. So let's see what we can find. No herps yet, but I just came across the biggest worm I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Look how big that worm is. Huge. We'll dry out here in the sun. He better dig up. This is a nice spot. He'll find a nice spot. But that is a big worm. <laughs> no hurts yet, though. Gosh, I've never seen one of those get caught. I have never seen anyone reach in the water with their hands and catch a sucker fish. That is impressive.
Look at him. He looks like something's too He little. is hurt. Yeah, this turtle probably bit him or something. Oh, he's missing his left fin. Oh, no, it's not. It's just folded up, isn't it? That is so cool. He's that so is big. cool, isn't it? We've been to this part of the creek before. Over there in that corner is where I found that giant frog that one time. It was a pretty big frog. We got a massive snake skin. Huge. We got a huge snake skin. Thick snake. Maybe here in a second, as we keep going upstream, we'll see this snake. That's a big snake skin. We've got another worm to save. He is alive. Let's save him, because he'll definitely drown in here. It's a pretty big one. The worms out here are pretty big. Nope. Don't come back out here. There you go. He'll find a nice spot in there. I think that's about it in this creek. We haven't seen much else, and we're coming close to an end. Well, let's keep looking a little bit. As we were coming back upstream, we saw that same sucker fish again. I don't know if you can see him. He's really good at blending in. But I'm gonna try to grab him again. But I'm doing it with one hand this time, so it's gonna be a little harder. See him right there, moving? Okay, this is gonna be a lot harder than I thought. With two hands, it's a lot easier. Okay, let's see if it'll cooperate. Got him. Check him out. He's really pretty. He is hurt though pretty bad in there. Storm could have hurt him. Really cool little fish. I think they're called darters. This is a bigger one. But I know they're little suckers. They suck on the bottom and stuff like that. But I'll let them go. I don't want to leave them out the water too long. So let's see him go. Yeah, he's in rough shape. There he goes, back to the bottom. Pretty cool. But I think I'm gonna end it there. It's a pretty cool fish. That's about it out here. It's a slow day. There's nothing much in this creek right now. But thanks for watching my videos. This little moth was just sitting right there. He wasn't even moving. I just put my finger up under him and he walked with my finger. I don't want him to get in the creek because that would definitely kill him. So I'll give him a little boost and I'll put him up here on the side. Maybe he'll get better and fly off whenever he needs to. Pretty cool though. Alright, I'm done now though. Thanks for watching my videos.